We're going to go over our pre-cuts for page five. There are quite a bit. Move my coffee out of the way. It's coffee time for me. Okay, so what we did was we cut two pieces that were six by seven and a quarter. One we labeled left fold out and one we labeled right fold out. Each one is scored the same. We laid this so we were six inches across our board. We scored at a half inch and five eighths inch on each one of these. We then had six pieces that were cut at four and a half by six, and we called them FO flips. This is our waterfall. Uh, for page five, one, two, three, four, five, six. They were all scored the same. We laid it so we were six inches across, and we scored each at a half inch. All right, so our next pieces, we had two cut the same, six by seven and a quarter. One is a bottom flip and one is a top flip. They were both scored the same. We laid this so it was six inches across our board. We scored at a half inch and three quarters inch. And we had one that was three and a half by five and five eighths. We called it an inside pocket. We laid this so we were five and five eighths across the board. We scored at a half inch and we scored at five and one eighth inch. We turned so we were three and a half inches and we scored at a half inch. Okay, let's find our base decorative paper. In your paper pack, you will find this print on the back. It is this. Let's take off that trim piece. Our trim piece is off. Let's turn our piece like this. Measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. This piece, the shorter one, I want you to set aside for our page six. So we won't be cutting into that. Okay, let's see here. How do I want to cut this? I think we're going to measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Stick this in your reserves. What we're looking for is our six by seven and a quarter inch. Left fold out, right fold out. These are the ones with the skinnier score lines. Let's fold on those score lines. Okay, one's gonna be to the right, one's gonna be to the left. So the left hand side has the flap. On your outside score line, we're gonna pinch. And we're just going to attach that, line it up top to bottom there, pinch, and we're going to glue down that flap. And we will push back. So right now that probably may be upside down the words, so, so that we do not get confused, I am going to erase mine just in case. Okay, the right fold out, our flaps over here on that outside score line, let's attach it over the other. And we will glue down this flap. Okay, we'll push back on those score lines there. Next, I want you to open this up. Let's grab our top flip and bottom flip. And what we're going to do is fold on those score lines. We're going to attach all this first. Okay, I have my top flip here. On that top score line we're going to pinch and we are going to attach this. Now be very careful not to catch on uh, the other hinges. So you'll just center that side to side with your decorative paper evenly. Once you have it, and you have it butted up nice there. We're going to attach. And then we can push up on that. We're going to do the same with the bottom. Now our flaps down here and this score line here we're going to pinch on. And we're going to slide it right up underneath the top flip and line it up with the sides of that. 
as best you can and we will attach this. All right, we can push back down on that down there. Okay, we can just maneuver these out of the way for now. And we will start working on over here. In your paper pack, you will have this print on the back. It is this. Let's take off that trim piece. We're actually going to start here and then the top inner uh, flip. So uh, we have this and I want to use that for up and down, but let's grab a couple magnets. At the top of your fold out, this is where we're going to place our first magnet. And we'll come down, come down about three quarters of an inch. And then we'll place the mate on top. Now this part's very important so you get your latch the right way. Since we have such a big uh, spacing in there. Now when you bring this up underneath, make sure that you are flat. And make sure that it's flat up here. And don't pull, just lightly line them up and press. And that's it. Now let's grab this. Let's measure over seven inches and cut. We'll turn our paper, measure over five inches and cut, measure over again five inches and cut. We're going to apply glue to this side and we will center that down there and we will do the same up here. This is not on your pre-cuts but cut a three and one eighth by four and a quarter inch piece of black cardstock. Once you have that, drag this back out of your reserves. And looking at it like this, we're going to measure over four and one eighth inch and cut. This is what you should have. Measure over three inches and cut. This should fit inside, giving you a little bit of a black border all the way around. Let's glue this there and we'll burnish it down. Okay, I'm going to show you really quick. Sorry about the camera bouncing around. Uh, your magnet is right here, so this will fit right like this nicely without interfering with it. So you may have to bring it down a little bit here. But when we glue this down, we're only going to put a thin line at the top and bottom so that we can still slide something in there. So I'm going to bring it over. I'm only going to have maybe an eighth inch of my decorated paper to the left and the bottom. So now, like I said, you should be able to slide back in there. Okay. On your sticker sheet, there's no place like home. We're going to place that. And we'll do that right up in the corner here. Let's move on down here, and we're going to leave this alone, except I think what I would like to do is find a chipboard piece, and we still have the Tin Man, and we're just going to place him here. Now only apply glue at the top portion so that you can slip photos back behind, and we're just going to place it here, just like that. In your reserves, you will have this print, and it looks like this on the back. Measure over seven inches and cut. We're going to apply glue to the back of this, and we are going to center that, and you will have larger black on the sides, and about, oh, about an eighth inch here and down here. In your reserves, you will find this square, and it's about five and one eighth five five inches. We're going to apply glue and we're going to center that side to side leaving yourself about an eighth inch between that score line and this and from the side and we're going to leave an eighth of an inch from the top and glue that down. You will have a three and a half by five and five eighths inside pocket 
and we're going to prepare this like we have done any other ones. We'll clip out the corners, fold back, and attach our score tape. I have the score tape backing off, and I'm just going to pull this up so you can see a little better. And when we do this, we are going to come down, oh, come all the way over to the right where it meets your paper over here. We are conserving paper, so, and we'll bring it to the bottom. So it's a little pocket. Now for here. Look in your reserves for a long strip like this. On the back, it's the spider webs. Yeah, it's only maybe six and a half inches, but that's okay. That's all we want. So what we're going to do is just line this up with the top edge of our pocket, and we're going to measure to fit down here. And then we're going to glue that down. Pull this back out of your reserves. We'll turn it, measure over two and seven eighths inch, and cut. If you'd like to add your trim, now is the time. So now all we're going to do is take this piece and we're going to measure to fit. So I'd like to pull mine up a little bit so I can see the edge of my pocket. And then I will trim it. And then I will verify it fits. Then I will apply glue, glue it down. On your sticker sheet, let's grab this. And we will place it. Okay, it is time to start working on that first set of flips over here. It's also called a waterfall. So we're going to need three of our four and a half by six inches. And all we're going to do is fold and burnish well, really good, on those score lines. Okay, I have these all laid out, and it's probably best if I just flip this out of the way for now. We're going to grab our 3 8 inch score tape. With the peak up, we are going to lay our score tape right on this. And do not get it on that score line, so you can just center in between the edges there in that score line. Once we get this place, we will trim off any score tape that might be peeking over. I have all mine done. You're going to need your ruler for this and your pencil. So from the very top of your black, what you're going to do, and I don't want to get my head in the video here, is you're going to measure down one and three eighths inch and make a little pencil mark. And I'm just going to try to go like that. Okay, so before we remove the score tape, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. When we remove this, we're going to fold this back and we're going to bring this up. And we'll set it right on top of that uh, pencil line. Um, if your pencil line's not straight, what I like to do is look to side to side at my decorative paper. If it looks straight or straight at the bottom, I know I have it on correctly. So let's get the first one placed and the rest ones are easy. So again, I'm going to try and cover up that center side to side. Whoops. Hold on. Not quite there yet. Got away from me. And we will place it. So once you have it down, just burnish. Let's grab our second one. We will then, here's our sticky, right? So all we do is bring this down and match it up with the sides of the other one and press down. That should be pretty even for you when you pull it down. And then burnish. If you get it on slightly crooked, it isn't the end of the world. You can always try to realign it uh, back up, you know, by just trying to fix it. But I think that this is pretty good. If not, like I said, not the end of the world once we get our decorative paper on there. And there. So that is our first waterfall. Let's find some paper. Let's pull this out of our reserves. We're going to turn it, measure over five and a quarter inches, and cut. 
We're going to measure over four and one quarter inch and cut. We're going to apply glue to that and we're going to center that on our first one and we're going to glue that down. This piece we just put in our reserves, measure over four and one quarter inch and cut. Let's flip this up. We're going to apply glue to this side and we're going to glue that down right there. So, so far these are the colors that we have. Let's flip this up. I'd like to get another yellow one. In your paper pack you will find this print. On the back it is the blue checks. Let's take off that trim piece. Measure over four and a quarter inches and cut. Let's turn that. We're going to measure over five and a quarter inches and cut. Let's apply our glue and we will glue that down. So our color coordination looks pretty good and we still have several pa papers so we're going to flip that up. We'll start right here. This one is not quite five and a quarter this way but that's okay. We're going to measure over and this is in our reserves. Measure over four and a quarter inches and cut. Let's apply glue to this and we will bring it as even as we can top to bottom and glue that down. Let's get for this piece. In your reserves you will have this 12 inch long piece. It is only three and a half inch wide and that's okay. Measure over five and a quarter inches and cut. We are going to be placing a trim piece on the side. So let's apply glue here and we will center that top to bottom and we will give ourselves a little bit of a trim over here and we'll glue that down. In your reserves you will have this. It is about one and a half wide and it is six and one eighth long. So we'll measure over five and a quarter inches and cut. Now one thing I want to do is trim off underneath the black uh, lines and this is what I have. I'm going to apply glue and I'm going to bring that over to so I still have a black little border over there and I'm going to glue that down. Got mine down. Now let's get for here. Grab this piece back out of your reserves. We just cut on that. Measure over five and a quarter inches and cut. Apply glue and we'll glue that down. So our flip, our waterfall is complete. So all we have to do now is these outside ones. And for now, let's see here. I think we're just going to fold over this one and find our paper for this. In your paper pack you will find another one of these prints. On the back is the hearts. Let's take off that trim piece. Let's turn our paper, measure over seven inches and cut. Measure over five inches now and cut. Apply glue. Sorry about the shaking camera guys. And we're going to center that on that fold out top. Got mine down. Let's flip this over. We just had this in our hands and we're going to flip this over. Measure over five inches and cut. Let's apply glue and we're going to center that on this fold out and glue that down. You should have three more of these four and a half by six inch pieces that are our FO flips. Um, also known as waterfalls. Let's fold on each one of those score lines and then with the peak up we will lay our 3 8 inch score tape along that side. So we have all of our pieces. Now for this we're going to need our pencil again and we're measuring down from the top of the cardstock. So measure down 1 and 3 8 inch and make a pencil mark. Let's start placing these. This is exactly the same way we did the other waterfall. And we will fold that back. We will bring it up to that line and try to center that side to side. Make sure it's even and we will place it. And then we burnish that and we burnish that really good. The next ones we just place 
like we were before. Sticky side, match it up, and place it. And burnish down really good. Last one, and go right here. I think that's pretty even. And burnish. Let's start to get our pieces here. Let's grab this back out of our reserves on the back. It is this, it's 12 inches long. And we're gonna center this. This is only five inches this way, but it's fine. So measure over four and a quarter inches and cut. Measure over again four and a quarter inches and cut. This first one, we're gonna apply glue and we're gonna center that right on the top one. Just like that. This one, we're going to go all the way to the back and we will center that on the back one and glue that one down. In your paper pack, you will have this print on the back. It is the Oompa Loompas. Let's take off that trim piece. Measure over four and a quarter inches and cut. Measure over again four and a quarter inches and cut. So we should have two pieces that are four and a quarter wide by 12 inches long. Let's double those up. Measure over five and a quarter inches and cut. Measure over again five and a quarter inches and cut. Alrighty, so any which way you want to assemble these, you can. I'm going to grab this one at the bottom. It says Wicked Witch. I'm going to apply glue. And I'm going to stick this back here. So Wicked Witch is at the bottom. I'll grab this one, apply glue to this side, and glue it here. So let's start there. So this is what our pieces look like. And for the back two here, I will apply glue to this side. I'll glue that down. And on the back side here, apply glue and glue that down. Our waterfall is complete. Let's flip that up. And in your paper pack, you will find this print on the back. It is green. Let's take off that trim piece. Let's turn this sideways, measure over five inches, and cut. This is what you should have. Measure over seven inches and cut. Let's apply glue. We will center that on that top flip there and glue that down. Got mine down. We'll flip that over in your reserves. You will find this. So we'll turn it this way, measure over five inches, and cut. So what we're going to want to do is put this on our paper cutter and trim all the way down. And I'm going to show you mine. So I cut off that side trim, flip it upside down, measure over seven inches and cut. Let's apply glue and center that on our top piece. This page is complete. We are going to use our quarter inch score tape or if you have left or three, um, your three-eighths, that's good, but we're going to go around the outside like a picture frame. One down the middle, and we're going to go one, two, we better go one, two. If you're using your three-eighths, it should be fine to go one down the middle and two on either side. If you're using your quarter inch, you'll go three on either side. We're going to place this in our book together. I'm going to remove my score tape backing. Here is my page. Remember, we go all the way to the edge on this one and we will place it. And then we can just open that right on up and burnish. And I think that looks good. And we may add a flower or so there, possibly. Okay, we are on our last page. It is very simple. We are conserving paper and we did set this off to the side. What we're going to want to do is we're going to flip this upside down, measure over seven and a quarter inches and cut. Grab your book back out. Since we are conserving paper, um, we're going to work directly right in here. So let's flip this over 
and we're going to add score tape to the outside like a picture frame, one down the middle, and we can go two on either side. And we're going to place this together so we get it in the right place. I got my score tape backing off. So one thing that you're going to want to do is, of course, keep in mind where your hinge is. Okay. What we're going to try to do is from the, the top of this paper is to kind of line up as even as we can and stay between that this hinge and the outside. So if you get it a little off, it's okay, and we'll place it. Okay, we did have one pre-cut, and we're gonna get that ready to go. It's a four by eight and five eighths, and this is a spaced pocket. So this one we're gonna do together. You have, and I got glue just all over me. So you can see where our lines are. We're just going to clip out that inside line up to the top line and the top line over to clip out. And we'll do the same. Inside line up to the top line and we'll clip out. So now all we have to do is fold on each of those score lines. Okay, for your space pocket, you're going to want to be straight on the side, so like so, so you still have that spacing, and you'll make sure you have that on this side too. So we're going to do like we kind of did with the other ones. We'll put a little glue down here in the corners, and we will bring it up to the sides and we'll pinch that until it holds. Let's grab our 3 8 inch score tape and now we're going to line this like we've done our other pockets. I took the score tape backing off. Now with this, we're gonna be bringing that down so that we have it even with this fold out. And we'll go side to side and just try to keep that as even as we can. Like that and then we will make sure we burnish down and I need to get inside for this to make sure it stays down we have enough spacing so if you want to do your trim now is the time to place it in your reserves you will find this piece let's turn it measure over three and a quarter inches and cut this is what you should have measure over seven and three eighths inch and cut Let's apply glue, and we're going to glue that down. Cut a piece of cardstock that is five and three quarters by eight and a half inches. And all we're going to do is fold this right in half, or you can score it. So we'll fold that right in half. So as you can see, and we'll burnish. And we're going to be sticking that folder right there when we're done. So first things first, let's find some cardstock. Grab this out of your reserves on the back. It looks like this. Measure over 5 and 3 eighths inch and cut. The opening is going to be on this side. Let's apply glue to this. And we're going to center this top to bottom and side to side. We will have thicker black on each side. In your reserves you will find this piece on the back it is this so take a moment to find it. We're going to apply glue and we're going to center that side to side top to bottom and glue those two together. Take this back out of your reserves measure over five and three eighths inch and cut. Let's open this up apply glue and we're going to glue that down or you can have the bright side whichever you like. I think I'll go with the brighter side there. I have mine down. It's time to attach this folder. And it's going to be at an angle and we can bring it down as long as it doesn't go down past the edge of your chipboard and it's so long as it doesn't go past the edge over here. So what I'm looking at is just underneath this along here. So I'm just going to kind of look and now I know it's going to come down this way and I'm going to place this at an angle 
and right about there. So now I could still get, uh oh, here comes Roomba, um, things tucked back behind. Let's create a little tuck. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. In your reserves, you will find this. Ah, my camera is bouncing everywhere. There. And I'm just going to clip up to the right of City and to the left of Emerald. And I'm going to cut off this bottom piece here. And I'm going to apply glue, a single layer, to the bottom. And I'm going to place this. So if I wanted to put a tag or something back behind, I could. Sorry again for the noise in the background. I created a flower and still wet with glossy accents and I'm going to stick it right here and then I can tuck some leaves back behind. I tucked my leaves back behind. This album is complete. Now you have uh, decorated paper left in your reserves as well as two full sheets here that you can cut up for your uh, picture mats. Again, we don't do picture mats together, but um, you can add in your any solid colored cardstock like purples and yellows and greens that you would like. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and happy crafting everybody. I have another tutorial album I am set to begin on coming up here. And hopefully you will have it, it will be released uh, on YouTube within the next couple of weeks. And it's using the Muse paper collection. And I am just in love with it. Happy crafting everybody and I will see you real soon.